If I Stay is about the choices that we make in life, the way the decisions we make define us. Um, it's about the way the people who we choose to love and who choose to love us define us and the way our lives are changed by who we love. Uh, specifically, it's the story of a young woman, a cello prodigy played by Chloe Grace Moretz, who has experienced the first great love of her life, having fallen in love with a boy named Adam, played by Jamie Blackley, uh, who is a rock and roll star uh, rising rock and roll star, and uh, it's all about their relationship, but it's also about uh, what happens on the day that Chloe's character and her family are involved in an unfortunately tragic accident and the decisions that she has to make in the wake of that accident. I met Allison Greenspan uh, about a year and a half ago. I had just read the uh, the screenplay by Shauna Cross, and then at the second I put the screenplay down, I picked up the book and read the book because my immediate reaction was I gotta see where this material comes from. It's, it, it, it just felt so rich and exciting that I, I kind of went from one reading experience directly into the other and read the book. And when I put the book down, I read it in a single uh, sitting. I was just so moved. I was kind of shattered by it and, uh, and thought I really wanna make this movie. Well, I think being a documentary filmmaker has uh, uh, prepared me well for making feature films. Uh, um, it's, it's, it's interesting. I, I don't find the process all that different. Uh, one, it, it, you, whether you're directing a documentary or a narrative, you are, uh, you're telling a story and you're telling a story about human beings and you're thinking in terms of themes and narrative structure and uh, you go into a production process and then when you're done you go into a post-production process. Uh, the principal difference, of course, is that with a uh, documentary, you, you end with the script. You, you, you begin with life with this big pile of life and you shoot it. And then when you're done, you go into the edit room and you pare it down and pare it down and pare it down. And only at the end can you say, this is what the, the script is. With a narrative, you begin with a script and then you go into production and you realize that script. And then in post, again, you're paring down and shaping and defining it. Picking the music was a really uh, a fun process. Um, working very closely with our music supervisor, Linda Cohn, and our composer, the wonderful Hector Pereira. Um, uh, the three of us would gather, uh, you know, two, three times a week, long before we started pre-production, and we'd just listen to music, listen to hundreds and hundreds of songs that had been written, some written for us, some submitted by bands that, that had they had just written but had never recorded. And, uh, and we listened through them and, and were on a search for the five songs that would be perfect for Jamie's band. And by the end of the process, we, we found them. But it required uh, going through really uh, hundreds and hundreds of songs and listening to them and having kind of instinctual responses to them and, and, and talking about strengths and weaknesses. And in a couple of cases, we asked the writers to adjust lyrics and um, sometimes to adjust the music, and but it, it turned out really well. It's a certain kind of raw rock and roll um, with a pop feel, um, but with great passion, with, with great passion and uh, articulation of a certain rage and a relationship to punk, and of course, because they're from Portland, a relationship to grunge and all of that, uh, but, they're, but they're contemporary, so there's a, there's a, um, a relationship to pop as well. And, and it's, it's terrific, it's you know, great music, really great music. We've always said that this film is a roller coaster ride. So all the things that you take away from a roller coaster ride, you're gonna take away from this. It's thrills and chills and spills and twists and turns and ups and downs and jo moments of joy and moments of tragedy and awesome music and, 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 and it's a great love story. And it's, it's kind of like life itself, this film, you know? It's really, really exciting. Um, it, it's, it has its moments of, of tragedy and its moments of triumph. And, uh, you know, to me, that's all you go to the movies for.